Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I just finished getting ready. I did my hair. I haven't curled my hair in forever, so it feels really good to actually be able to curl it because my girlfriend Jen and I are going out tonight. I'm so excited. We're gonna go to the mall. I haven't been to the mall in a minute, you guys. I'm like really excited to go to a mall. Um, shop around, maybe look for some cute things for Disney, like some cute outfits and stuff like that. And then we're gonna go out to dinner. Um, in South Park in Charlotte, if you are familiar with the Charlotte area. I've actually never been to South Park, so I'm really excited. Um, and I think we're probably gonna go out for like Mexican, like margaritas and stuff. We really wanted to go to Restoration Hardware Rooftop. I heard it's amazing and the pictures look absolutely beautiful, but of course we couldn't get a reservation because it was like last minute that we decided this. So I think next time we go out for like a girls night, we're gonna try and go there, but I'll bring you guys along. I'm really excited just to have like a mommy's night out with Jen. I haven't been out in forever, so it is much, much overdue. Quentin actually has taken a pretty long nap today. I think he just woke up. I'm gonna go get him, but he's been sleeping close to three hours, which is insane. We took the kids this morning to the farmer's market in the area, and um, I picked up like a bunch of different like goat cheeses to try that look so yummy. The kids kind of ran around and they brought the goats with them to the, like the guy who sold the goat cheese brought his goats to the farmer's market. So the kids like loved the goats. There was like a baby goat and then a bigger one. And Quentin was like going insane over the animals. He loves animals. It's really cute. Also, a lot of people have been asking about an update on my teeth and Invisalign. I've been getting a lot of comments that they look so much different um, and they do like my teeth are insanely different they're super straight now there's still um, a few little things that I want to get fixed so I'm gonna continue doing Invisalign for a little bit longer one of my top teeth I want to bring it down a little bit more and then the bottoms I want to straighten up just a little bit more too so I'm waiting right now for my new trays to be sent to me and then we will go from there Is this the same couch from up front? It looks similar, right? Actually, it looks so pretty. Different, but it looks really comfy. You gonna test it out? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Is it comfortable? Better. <laughs> you just like, oh wow, so comfy. Oh, I love that chandelier. Which one? That one. That one. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty. So pretty. Ooh, those are pretty. Oh, yeah. That would definitely go with the coastal vibe. Great. Yeah. Ooh, I like this frog. <laughs> the leopard. Oh my gosh. I like this so blue. cute. The blue is so cute. Oh, did you see my uh, my moss balls? I put I on the. That you changed it out. I, was... I changed it out. I put some moss balls in there, and Alex is like, "What <laughs> is this?" You guys, I want this whole thing in my house. These little faux peaches are so adorable. My gosh. Peach plant. I need a peach plant. 
<laughs> but like in the kitchen, wouldn't that be so cute? Oh my gosh, I'm gonna get those big moss balls right there and hang them above Alex's. <laughs> yes, in his office. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, Peloton. Let's go in and get a bike. Come on. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> So we're in the mall, we're in South Park Mall, which is beautiful by the way. And we went into a couple home decor stores and then we went into Lululemon. And Jen's trying to get me to buy the Align leggings. They're worth it. There's nothing better than them. Yeah, like everyone raves about those leggings, but the price tag just kills me. I'm like, don't be cheap, buy it. <laughs> I, know. I know, I really do. I need to try them out. Um, so right now we're looking for the Disney store because we want to try and get a few things for our Disney trip in April. But we're lost in this mall, you guys. We can't Sorry. find it. We can't find the Disney store anywhere. Okay, we are at H&M and I cannot find any Disney stuff for the boys. They have a bunch of girl stuff, but like no boy stuff for some reason. Um, so anyway, I did find these. It's like the only Mickey Mouse stuff I can find. I'm not sure if I'm gonna get them for the boys. I think they'd be really cute in them, but I'm not, I don't know. Okay guys, it is the next morning. I, um, first of all, the weather is freaking beautiful today like it's I think it's gonna be close to 80 degrees today so I'm not really sure why I'm in a sweatshirt but um, it's cold in my house so I'm always wearing like sweats or something but um, anyway I'm meeting Jen at Aldi we're gonna do some grocery shopping um, I told y'all in my last vlog if you saw that that Jen just started doing keto a few weeks ago she's already lost like five pounds um, there's so many benefits to it other than just like losing weight I just want to give it a go because I have been working out like literally Monday through Friday for the past probably two and a half months and I honestly haven't seen too much of a difference in my body like little changes here and there but nothing like drastic which is what I thought would happen after working out like every day and these are good workouts I'm doing it's not I'm not just like you know doing little jogs here and there like I'm doing a lot of like strength and um like cardio and stuff and so I should be seeing a difference and I'm really not and I think it's because of my diet honestly like I I try to eat healthy during the week but honestly like I know a lot of the things that I eat have like sugar in them and carbs and all this stuff and um I just feel like I have to make some kind of change with how I eat in order to see the results that I want with summer coming up like right now I do not feel like honestly I don't feel comfortable getting in a bikini I don't even feel comfortable getting in like a one-piece swimsuit like ever since I had Quentin my body has never been the same after Camden I feel like I got it back to like what I wanted but after Quentin the second baby like that just did me in and I haven't been able to get to the place where I'm comfortable at with my body. I had like my last hurrah last night with Jen. We went out to um, Mexican food. It was so much fun. Really nice to have a girls night out, drink margaritas, um, fajitas, like the whole deal. And it was really nice. So now it is Sunday and I'm gonna stock up with all the stuff that I need for keto. I downloaded the app Carb Manager and I'm gonna start kind of tracking what I eat and like lowering my carbs as I go. Um, and then I'm gonna kind of ease into keto slowly. And I've heard of the keto flu, so I need to up my electrolytes. Jen actually got the keto flu and um, it's not like a real flu. It's like you get like a really bad headache and stuff like that. And you feel like super tired and stuff, which I don't wanna get. Anyway, I'm gonna stop um, babbling and I'm gonna get going because I need to meet Jen now. just got out of Aldi and it was definitely an experience for sure I was so confused like the quarter thing was weird and then like checking out was a whole nother thing I didn't have any bags with me so I bought some bags but then the lady didn't pack the bags so I had to pack the bags but I couldn't pack the bags <laughs> at checkout I had to go to like another area to pack my bags and it was like a whole confusing thing and then I didn't even buy enough bags for my groceries so I have groceries in the back kind of just flung around in my trunk but <laughs> lesson learned now I will know for next time it is very good prices though I checked out of there everything I got was a hundred bucks all right so I got a bunch of avocados these are really great when you're doing keto because of the healthy fats 
Um, some romaine lettuce. This is for if I want to do like a lettuce wrap with tuna or if we're doing tacos and I want to do lettuce wrap for that or burgers or whatever. I got these little mini cucumbers just to snack on um, for me and the boys. And then some celery to make. Uh, my friend Jen makes these like little celery snacks with cream cheese and like everything but the bagel seasoning and it's so good. So I got that to snack on. And then I found this cute like Mickey goldfish for the kids. And Quentin needed some diapers, so I picked those up. I got some salmon to make for dinner, um, and then some string beans. Um, I got these little fruit snacks for the kids. I got a bunch of berries for the kids, blueberries, raspberries, strawberries. A lot of you guys told me that the produce is really good at Aldi, so I picked up a bunch, and it actually looks very fresh. Um, <clears throat> And then I picked up the heavy, heavy whipping cream. Jen said I should add this to like my eggs and stuff. I got this um, elevation protein meal bar. It is keto for net carbs. So like I guess if I'm on the go and I just need something to eat, I can uh, have that. And then I bought some seasoning packets um, to try and make some dinners with, just ranch and Italian. I got these folio cheese wraps that I've shared before. They're so good. This is the cheddar. I really love the Parmesan. And then my mom said that they also make a, I forget, one other kind. It's kind of like a Swiss. Um, <clears throat> I haven't been able to find that one yet, though. Some of you guys have told me that they're great with tacos, too. Like, you can throw them in the oven, and they will harden, and you can use it as a taco shell. I got this um, to snack on the jalapeno artichoke dip um, for, like, I guess, celery or carrots or something like that. Um, I got some raw nuts, cashews, walnuts, macadamia to snack on too. Um, Jen said macadamia nuts are great because they're very high in fat, um, low in carb. And then I got some of these little Parmesan crisps to snack on. This is the everything and this is the original. I love these things. I got these yogurts are pretty good. Um, and then I also ordered a granola that I will share with you guys from Harris Teeter. I've got to do a Harris Teeter pickup tonight. Um, so I got those. They're the vanilla ones. And then this tikka masala sauce is not too bad either. Um, so I got this to make with chicken. Picked up the coconut whip topping to put like on my coffee. I still have to figure out like what kind of coffee I can drink. Um, I know a lot of keto people do like the butter coffee. I don't know if I can, <laughs> I don't know if I can do that or not, but we'll see. Um, and I thought this looked interesting, the smoked chili salt. So I can flavor this on um, like chicken or beef. I picked up little mandarin oranges for the boys. They love these. And then some whole wheat for the boys. I got the cinnamon breakfast bread for the boys. And then Jen and I found this keto friendly multi-seed bread and she said there's literally no carbs in it, which is insane. Like she said that she's not been able to find bread with no carbs in it. So this is great to have. Um, so this is at Aldi if you guys need it. What do you want to watch? You have to go up, 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 up. The Muppet Show? No. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, he's saying up, oh, you heard him? Oh, he wants Mickey. Are you a queen fan? Huh? Come here. Let me see. Oh, just like mama. Just like mama. <laughs> Say hi. Ha. <laughs> We gotta go this way, we gotta go down. Down. Oh, it's windy. We're going over to the land right now. We're going to figure out how we're gonna situate the house and kind of measure it out with stakes and string and see exactly like where it's going to be on the land. All right, this way, honey. Oh, careful. So Quentin fell in a puddle of mud. 
His hair is soaking wet in the back. I know, hold on, let me show him. It's all soaking wet. Like, literally, he just fell and his whole head went into the puddle of mud. And then he was jumping in it. So, that's, that's what's going on right now. But we just stuck all of the stakes where we wanted. Um, and now we're just trying to figure out like if we need to push the house back more. Right now, I technically am sitting in the backyard um, or like on the patio. But so we need to figure out if we want to bring the house back more or like more to the left or more to the right. So I don't know if Alex is putting the string right now. Okay, okay, okay. Right now, Alex is tying a string around the stakes so that we can like see uh, the layout of the house. So I finally figured out what to put here. I was searching for months to find a centerpiece for the breakfast table and I found this like really cute wooden like um, wooden bowl from Target. It is so so pretty. I think this is the McGee & Co line. I'll link it down below. Um, and then I found these moss balls at Kirkland's like a bag of them. Um, and at first I had these over on the entertainment center, but I didn't really like them there. So I put them in this bowl and I think they look so cute here and just brings a little bit of color because this table with the chairs and then like the chandelier, everything is very neutral and like white creams, browns. So I wanted to throw in a little bit of color and I think this looks really cute. And then I just put the gold tray on my island, um, which I really like. Please ignore my kitchen. It is a bit messy I need to clean it but I wanted to show you guys where I put this I actually got this from Target as well over the holidays and I had like Christmas decor on it and it was um, on the breakfast table but I put it over here I've got my cute little vase from Target I feel like everything is from Target and these are like dead flowers these are literally like probably a month old I need to throw them out um, and then this candle I found at home goods and it's just so cute but it is like a massive candle and it smells so good. So I have that here and I feel like I need to put one other thing right here, but like something a little bit shorter um, than the vase, but taller than the candle. So I don't really know what I'm gonna put there. Definitely need to switch out my bouquet of flowers, but I think this looks really cute, like right in between um, the pendants. All right, so I wanted to show you guys what I picked up from the mall and then a couple orders came in too. Um, so this is from Amazon. This has nothing to do with Disney, but I just wanted to show you this cute little hat um, and these little clips. I actually saw Julia Havens, who I follow on Instagram. Um, I like love her style so much and I always buy whatever she recommends. So she was wearing this hat and it was so cute. So I went ahead and grabbed it. Um, super affordable too. I'll link it down below and then these hair clips. I completely forgot about these clips you guys I used to wear them all the time. My mom literally I grew up with my mom wearing these in her hair Every single day she would twist the back of her pony all the way up and then clip it It was a very 90s look so I snagged these as well and they are so cute I'll put like half up half down and then just like clip it Very comfortable too. Okay so when I went with Jen to the Disney store, I'm going to show you what I grabbed. Just a few things, but they just recently came out with these natives. You guys, oh my gosh. Um, they're like brand new. Cam is going to be obsessed. I get him a new pair of natives pretty much every year, and he's still wearing his orange ones from last summer, but they're too small. I think I'm actually going to grab Quentin a pair too. I just have to measure his feet. I'm actually going to put these in Camden's suitcase when I pack up his whole Disney suitcase for his birthday. Um, I grabbed... A Mickey mask because they have to wear masks at Disney so I got Cam this and then I grabbed some hand sanitizer too to throw in the suitcase um, look how cute these hats are oh my gosh I got the matching hats so I got Quentin the oh this is Cam's Cam's is the four to eight year old and then Quentin's is the one and a half to four year old but how cute and then look at the back Oh my gosh, I love the back. So cute. I got the matching swimsuits, but I'm kind of bummed because I think they're way too small. I didn't realize how small these ran. This is one and a half to two years. Quentin won't even be two yet when we go. Um, so I thought this would fit him because he's kind of small, but now looking at it, it looks freaking tiny, you guys. It looks like a newborn could fit in this, honestly. So, I mean, I know they're supposed to be tight, like that's... Um, how these swimsuits are supposed to fit, but I 
definitely think with his little pot belly these are going to be way too small so I'm going to have to exchange them and get the next size up and then also with Camden's I got him the four to six which he'll be five but he has like a really tiny waist so I usually have to size down in pants which sucks because he's very tall so his the legs usually are too short um but this is just this is way too small for him this is tiny so I'm going to have to exchange these as well but how cute the little matching Mickey swimsuits oh my gosh and then I picked up this t-shirt for Cam. It's the six to eight year. I think it's gonna shrink a little bit because it does look a tiny bit big, but I think it's so cute with the Mickey looking at you. And I don't think there's anything on the back, yeah. So this stuff is all from H&M. And then uh, these three things are from the Disney store. And then this is from Amazon. So I'll link everything I can down below. Smile that makes the sun rise You make it shine But I can see that you don't read